Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna start with some forward lunges, um, just to warm up and activate. So I want you guys to take a big step forward. And then once you take that forward step, I want you to take your hands, bring them right overhead. So lead back with your thumbs. Okay, bring your hands all the way back down and then bring that leg back to the starting position. Okay, bring the left leg forward. Try and keep that back knee off of the ground and then drive those arms back, thumbs back. Okay, switch. Bring them back down. So you're alternating lunges and trying to get a good stretch through those shoulders. Making sure that that weight is going through the front foot, okay? And more specifically through the heel and that midfoot and making sure that not all your weight's on your toes. Let's do a couple more each side. So you might feel a little bit of burn in your quads. Just trying to warm up the body. All right. Next one I want you guys to do, you can come down to your knees and your hands. We're gonna do those adductor rocks. Again, this is more mobility and activation. So let's start with your right leg going out to the side. Hands are right in front of you on the floor. So kind of in the, in the middle of, or on either sides of your left leg. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna rock back on your left knee and then bring yourself forward. I'll do it from this side. Okay, here, forward. Rocking back and forth on that left knee. Okay, and you're feeling that stretch in the right, right leg. All right, let's do one more, rock back. And forward, good. Let's switch, left leg goes up to the side now. Hands are on either side of the right leg in front of you. Again, you're rocking back on that right knee and forward. Find a good spot for your leg if you need to bring it more forward or more back. Okay, let's do two more. Good, and then just come out of it nice and slow. Okay, the next one, you're gonna do side lunges. So you're gonna start with a side lunge out to the right. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a side lunge and then you're gonna take your left hand and I want you to touch your toes or your shoe on their right side. So you're starting up, Top. You're going to take a lunge out and you're going to touch left hand to right foot. And if you want, you can take your right arm and spin it up towards the ceiling. So your fingers are pointing towards the ceiling. You're going to come out and then you're going to step back up again. So we're going to do six per side. So let's just do it on the right side. So side lunge out and then twist. Stand back up. Side lunge out. Left hand to right foot. Twist and stand back up. Okay. I'm letting my eyes follow my right hand because then you're going to get that rotation in your upper spine. Let's do two more on this side. One more. Good. Move over, give yourself some room. Now on the left side. So now you're side lunging with the left foot. Touching right hand to left foot and rotating the left hand up towards the ceiling. Okay, so try and get that balance down in that pattern. Side lunge out and rotate. Let's do two more here. One. And two. Good. You can come down to your back for your new glute bridges. Activate the glutes. 
Okay, so you're lying on your back, you're in supine position. Feet are about hip width apart. And then and when you're doing these glute bridges, start with your feet at one position. And then as you do them, as you bring your hips up, if you're feeling that really big stretch in your quads, bring your feet a little bit further in front than what they are now. Okay, but from here, we're gonna go up, squeeze the glutes to the top, drop them all the way down, and back up. I really want you to focus on squeezing at the top. Hands can just be out to your sides, palms up or palms down, doesn't matter. Push that weight through your heels, bring your hips as high as you can up towards the ceiling, at the top, squeeze. Okay, you can focus on your breathing by breathing out as you bring the hips up and breathing in as you bring the hips down. Let's do two more here. One. Squeeze. One more. And two. Awesome. Okay, good. And then you're gonna switch onto your stomach and we're gonna do back flies. So you're gonna go into your stomach and your hands are gonna be out towards your sides, okay? Your feet can stay flat, like the tops of your feet can stay flat on the floor. You're gonna bring your head up so that it's neutral. So remember not extending the neck. You wanna keep it nice and straight. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna have your head off of the ground. You're gonna pick those arms off, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Okay, all the way back down. Just let your fingers touch the floor. Bring them back up and squeeze. If you're finding that your shoulders are creeping up towards your ears, reset yourself, bring them back down and squeeze. Okay, you should be feeling this in between your shoulder blades, like as if a pencil was between there. Squeeze. So this is warming up our posterior delt, our rhomboids in our back. And it's a nice active stretch for the pecs too. Let's do three more. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. Okay, good. So we're gonna move on to our warm up. If you guys need any water or anything, feel free to grab some. We're gonna do six um, different exercises for our warm up, all for 30 seconds. So we're gonna start with just body weight squats, okay? Just to get ourselves moving a little bit. Let me get my stopwatch here. Okay, so feet are about hip width apart. And I want you guys just to start with body weight squats, okay? Go ahead. So breathe in as you go down, breathe out as you come up. Similar to those glute bridges, squeeze the glutes, but try not to arch that low back when you're doing them, right? You're doing that pelvic tilt, okay? You're bringing your um, hip bones underneath, but you're not arching that low back at all. Five more seconds. Good, let's move to inchworms. Okay, warm up that upper body. So you're starting with a big reach out and all the way back down to inchworms, okay? Here we go. Reach up, walk it out, and walk it back up. Keep breathing with these ones. Five more seconds. And good. Okay, next one, butt kickers. So you're on the spot. Okay, we're warming up our quads. So 30 seconds of butt kickers and go. Okay, if you want more of a low impact 
option. You can still do the same thing, stationary, or you can add a little bit of a side to side and still do a butt kicker with that, okay? So you're stepping side to side and bring that heel up towards your glute. Five seconds. Awesome, okay, good. We're gonna do just body weight punches for upper body. So I want you going as fast as you can, punching the air in front, okay? 30 seconds, go ahead. Making sure to breathe with this one, punching across your body, right into the air as fast as you can. Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, jumping jacks. Okay, full body jumping jack. 30 seconds, go right ahead. Okay. Again, option for jumping jacks. Bring that foot out while you bring those arms out, bring them back to the center, and then switch with the other side, okay? It's low impact on the knees and the ankles. Okay. Five seconds. Good, okay, and then last one, alternating lunges. So you're gonna do a forward lunge, okay, nice and quick, so not as long as we were doing for the mobility part. You're gonna take a step forward, push yourself back up. All right, 30 seconds, go right ahead. I like to move my opposite arm whichever, whichever foot is going forward. So if my right foot is going forward, my left arm's coming with it. Nice job, everyone, keep going. Three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna go through those ones again. Okay, so we're gonna start with body weight squats again for 30 seconds. So get ready, feet are hip width apart, and go ahead. Okay, 30 seconds, go ahead. So this time you can, you can speed these up a little bit more. I wanna get your heart rate going. Make sure with these body weight squats that you're pushing those knees out. You never want them to cave in. Okay, keep going. Three, two, and one, inchworms. So walk it on out. 30 seconds, go ahead, right into it. If you can, if you have the mobility or the flexibility in your hamstrings, try and put those that whole hand right on the, on the floor when you walk yourself out. Reach up. Three, two, and one. Okay, butt kickers. Okay, butt kickers, right into it. Go ahead. Okay, again, that low impact option, stepping side to side, bringing the heel towards butt. Well done, everyone. Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay, those punches, those air punches. Okay, punch in the air right in front of you. 30 seconds. Go ahead. 
Try and hold your core in. Be aware of what your core is doing. Okay. Bring that belly button into the, your, your low back. Keeps your back nice and straight and strengthens your core. And breathing regularly, not holding your breath with these. Five seconds. Two, one. Good, jumping jacks. Okay, right into jumping jacks. Go ahead. Again, sidestepping with the jumping jacks. Bring hands up and together and bring those toes just alternating out to the side. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds. Two and one, awesome. Okay, and then last one, alternating forward lunges. All right, and go ahead. Again, pushing to that front leg. Good, everyone, keep going. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, grab some water. We're gonna go into the first circuit of the workout. So you guys can grab some water. I'll explain the first exercise. And then after you're done the, having a sip of water, just keep moving, like move your feet side to side. Okay. So what you're gonna do with this first one is you're gonna stay low the whole time and you're gonna take steps forward. So basically think of just walking forward, but in a squat position. So you're gonna take one, two, three steps forward. Okay, then balance out your feet and you're gonna do three squats. Okay, after you do those three squats, you're gonna move back in that same position. So one, two, three, balance out your feet and three squats. Okay, that's our first exercise. If you want, you can add weight, but we're going through these three times, so feel free to start with body weight and then add if you need. Okay, so we're doing for 45 seconds, so get ready. All right, three, two, one, go ahead. Stay low, one, two, three steps forward. Bring that other leg so that it's even, and three squats. Okay, go nice and low again and then backwards. Three steps backward and three squats. Stay low. Three squats. So getting into that pattern, that rhythm. So 10 more seconds. Your glutes are doing a lot of the work. Five seconds. Three, two, and one, good. Okay, the next one, you're doing a bear crawl walk. So you're actually moving in this bear, bear crawl. So you're gonna set up in bear crawl position. So hands are right underneath shoulders, knees are right underneath hips. You're gonna take a step forward. So when I say that, right arm is going forward with left leg, okay? So if you watch me here, bring it forward, bring it forward and reverse it. Staying low in that bear crawl position. All right? So 45 seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Knees are close to the ground. Walking out, walking out, and then back. Sometimes the coordination is the hardest part of this movement. Once you get that though, then you can really focus on the core and the quads. You're gonna feel the quads on this one for sure. Fifteen more seconds. So remember, you're bringing 
One arm forward and then the opposite leg is going with it. And moving back and forth. Three, two, and one, good. So you're gonna go onto your back for the third exercise here. And you're gonna do toe taps. So you're laying on your back, your knees are at 90 degrees, your low back is on that mat or the floor, and you're going to drop your heel down, touch the ground, bring it back up, and then switch. Okay, so this one's for your core. You can bring your head up if you wanna activate a little bit more. Okay, let's start. So on your back, knees are up in the air. Three, two, one, and go. So arms can be up to the side. Nice and slow, because I really want you guys to feel your core working to keep that one leg up while that other leg goes down. So you're trying to minimize any space between the low back and the floor. And I really want you to think of pushing your belly button into the floor. Okay, and that's when if you bring your head up, it allows you to do so, helps you push in that, that belly button. Five seconds, three, two, and one, good. Okay, so we're doing this circuit three times, so we're going back to that first one that low squat. Now we've done it once, you guys can grab weight if you want, but if you found that that was enough for the last time, that's, uh, that's okay too. Okay, so 45 seconds. Get ready in that low squat position. Three, two, one, go. So taking three steps forward, bring the feet together and squat. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging without holding weight, do a jump squat at the end. Okay, so instead of body weight, do three jump squats. And then walk forward again. Just keep breathing with this one. Quads are gonna be a bit burnt from those bear crawls. Five seconds. Two and one. Okay, down to bear crawl. If you're finding the bear crawl is too difficult, you can do bird dog. So instead of moving yourself back and forth, you're keeping one arm on the ground, one leg on the ground, and you're super manning. So bird dog. Okay. So that's another option. All right, three, two, one, go. Bear crawl or bird dog. So remember with the bear crawl, you're doing the opposite. So if your left arm's going forward, your right knee is coming forward. And then alternate. If you're doing the same side, it's much harder. But if you're finding this too easy, then you can do the same side. Keep that back nice and straight, knees are close. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Come down to your mat on your back again. Okay. So we're doing those toe taps. Arms are up to the side, head and shoulders are off the mat. Knees are bent, and you're dropping that heel towards the ground. All right, ready? And go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Keep going. Really control it. Just let your heel touch and bringing it back up into the air. If you're finding it straining your neck, you can definitely lay your head back down. 
Just make sure that your low back's staying on the ground. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. So we're going through those three one more time. If you need water, grab some. Okay. So we're starting with those low squats again. Monster walk forward. All right, everybody ready? Three, two, one, and go. Three steps forward. Stay as low as you can. Bring your feet together. Three squats or jump squats. And back. Good. Well done. Five seconds. And good. Okay, so bear crawl position or that bird dog, right? You can be doing bird dog. The switching arm and leg or that bear curl. So we'll start here in about five seconds. So get ready. Three, two, one, and go. 45 seconds. Take two, bear curl forward, two back. Really use your core to assist you with this one. I know it's tough on the quads, especially after the one we just did there. But keep going, 10 more seconds. If you need to take a break at all, finish off strong. Three, two, one, good. Onto our backs for the last one in the circuit. Those toe taps or heel taps, I should say. So get ready, knees are up in the air. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, you can always check if you have any space in your low back, just taking your fingers and putting them underneath your low back. If you can get your fingers underneath there, then that means you need to bring your low back right onto the, onto the ground, okay? Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome. There we go. So first circuit is complete. Grab some water, and then I'll explain the first uh, exercise on the second circuit. Okay, so this is where you'll need um, some dumbbells if you have them. So the first exercise with this one is you're gonna do a reverse lunge. You're gonna do a reverse lunge. Okay, so you're gonna have your dumbbells beside you. You're gonna go into a reverse lunge. Now you're gonna come up, and depending on your dumbbell weights, you're gonna do one of three exercises. So you're gonna do a lateral raise or a side raise. Okay, you can do a front raise or you can do a shoulder press. So depending on what your weights are. And then you're gonna go into the other side. So every time you're going to a reverse lunge, come up. Side raise if you want. Alternate, side raise. So it's up to you. You can do side raise and then front raise and then shoulder press. Get into a pattern, it's just I don't, I know everybody has different weights. So that's gonna be our first one for 45 seconds. So grab those dumbbells. Three, two, one, and go ahead. So 
a reverse lunge, come up to standing. Okay, you do one of those, alternate. You can stick with the same, like if you wanna do side raises the whole time, that's totally fine. That's what I'm doing. If you have heavier weights that you can't do, front or side raises, go into shoulder press. But make sure you're alternating that reverse lunge. Keep going, let me check the time here. You guys got five more seconds. Three, two, and one, good. Okay, the next one here, you're gonna have a wider than hip width stance and you're gonna have your dumbbells in between your legs. So you're gonna drop down into a sumo squat. When you come up, hammer curl. So hammer curl, palms are facing forward. Okay, they're not, or sorry, they're facing towards each other. They're not facing forward. You're gonna come up, bicep curl, back down to sumo, up, bicep curl, back down to sumo. All right, that's our third, second one. So get ready. Three, two, one, and go ahead. Okay, bicep curl, drop it down to sumo, bicep curl. Be aware of your breathing here. You should be breathing out as you do the bicep curl. Make sure your weight's going through those heels and you're forcing those knees out. Let me check time. Keep going. You got five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. For this third exercise, you don't need any dumbbells. So the third one is going to be plank jacks. So you're on your hands, toes are out, and you're bringing your feet out to the side and then back to the middle. Okay, you can do them a little bit quicker. Or if you, can, if you don't want to do the jump, just alternating, tapping the toes out. All right, for 45 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Be aware of where your hands are. Make sure they're right underneath those shoulders. And whether you're doing the jump, the step out, make sure that your butt's not coming up to the ceiling. Okay? Trying to keep it down. If you find the toe taps too hard at any time, hold that plank, hold that high plank. Okay, you got 15 more seconds. Three, two, and one, good. I know it burns the arms, <laughs> well done. Okay, we're going back to that first one. So those alternating reverse lunges to the side raise, the front raise, or the shoulder press, depending on your weights, okay? So grab your weights, get ready. Three, two, one, and go. So alternate reverse lunge. I'm gonna do a front raise this time. So we're gonna do that alternating. And then one of the raises of the presses. If you're doing the raises, make sure that your, the work is just coming from your shoulder and you're not using the momentum of your body to get them up there. You never want that. Five seconds. Three, two, and one, good. Okay, next one, that sumo squat position. Grab those weights. Starting with sumo squat, standing up, and then into bicep curl. Okay, three, two, 
One, and go. So your, your arm should be straight when you go into that sumo squat, come up, curl. I want you to try and breathe in as you drop to your squat. Breathe out as you bicep curl. Breathe in and out. Keep going. You got 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Down to those plank jacks. Okay. We're going to start here in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, toes up to the side. Alternating or both at the same time. Whatever you find is best for you, but just keep that body straight and those hands right underneath the shoulders. Keep going, 15 seconds. It's a full body movement. Three, two, and one, well done. Grab some water and we're gonna go through that one more time. Grab some water, just reset for the last time we'll go through it. Okay. So last time through, Reverse lunges to start. So grab your dumbbells. Okay, everybody's got them, awesome. Okay, three, two, one, and go ahead. So now I'm doing shoulder press. I'm using a heavier weight. Make sure that you're pushing through that front leg still in that reverse lunge to come, come on up. Keep going, keep going. I'll check the time. Five seconds. Three, two, and one, good. Okay, sumo squat to bicep curl. Grab your weights. All right, three, two, one, and go. Try and get low with that sumo squat. Let the hips come all the way back, okay? No deadlift position. Try and get those hips back, seated, bicep curl. Breathe in. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. We got this one and one more, and we're finished. Keep going, 10 seconds, finish strong. Three, two, and one, good. Okay, this is our last one, those plank jacks. If you have anything left, try and go as hard as you can in the last 45 seconds. All right. We're gonna start here in five seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. 45 seconds. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Butt down, back straight. 
You guys got 10 more seconds, right to the end. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Awesome. Well done, everyone. Okay, grab some water and we're gonna start with cool down. All right, so keep standing. I want you to start with hands, reach all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, your feet can be a little bit apart, hip width apart. And then I want you to drop down, try and bend at the hips and get a good hamstring stretch. And then you can bring your hands and just kind of let them hang, swing back and forth, bending at the hips, breath in and out. Okay, stand all the way back up, bring your hands all the way above, head. Okay, bend at the hips and bring them down again, let them swing. Just trying to loosen up those shoulders and then a good stretch in the hamstrings here too. Reach on all the way up. And all the way back down. Let them hang, let your head hang. Awesome, okay. Wide your stance. Let's do those side to side kind of rock, rock side to side lunges. Get a nice stretch on the inside of our legs. Just rocking back and forth. Do a couple more each side. Okay, good. Come down to the ground, sideline. We're gonna do a quad stretch just because we did quite a, quite a bit of quads. A lot of leg, larger leg exercises. So sideline position. Okay, you can rest your head on your hand if you want, or you can lay it right down. You're gonna bend that top leg, grab at the um, front of your ankle and then bring that heel towards your butt. That bottom leg can stay straight. If you find that you need more of a stretch though, what you can do is bring that bottom leg, bend it, and then push on that upper knee. You'll get more of a stretch there. I'm just trying to slow down your breathing while you're holding this. Good. Release that side and switch over and go to the other side. Okay, head on hand. Bend that upper leg, or upper knee, sorry. Okay, again, if you need more of a stretch, take that bottom heel and place it on the top knee and just give it a gentle push back. Nice and slow. Okay, good, and then release out of that stretch. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into an upward dog. So you're going to put the knees down on the floor. You can lay the tops of your feet right flat on the floor. Make sure, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look up towards the ceiling. Make sure that you push your hands through the ground so that your head doesn't sink between your shoulders. Look up, bring your chin all the way up to the ceiling. Feel that stretch through your core. Okay. Now from here, I want you to go onto your toes. And I want you to pike up. Okay, do like a pike. Bring your butt towards the ceiling. 
And now I want you to do a calf or hamstring stretch. So you're going to bring your right heel towards the ground and you're going to place your left foot on just the back of your right calf. Okay, try to get that right heel towards the ground. But whatever you have for flexibility in your calf, just try and bring it towards the ground. Even if it doesn't get there, that's fine. Okay, now bring your left heel towards the ground and then bring that right foot placed on the back of your left calf. Okay, good calf stretch through here. Good, you're gonna to come to your hands and knees. We're gonna do cat camel. So knees are underneath hips, hands are underneath shoulders. You're gonna round your upper spine, tuck your chin, push, push those shoulder blades away from one another. Really try and get an exaggerated curve in your spine, your T-spine. Okay. Now bring your chin up towards the ceiling, stick your butt out, arch your low back. Okay, back to rounding your spine, round your spine, tuck your chin. One more, bring your chin up, arch your low back. Holding it there. Good, and then last one, I want you to sit back into your heels, keep your hands out in front of you, outstretched in front. Okay, bring your head in between your shoulders, and we're gonna do child's pose. Just get a good stretch with the shoulders and the back. Take a couple deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, bring them up to the left side. Okay, and the right side, last one here. Awesome, and then slowly just bring your arms up to see the position, and we're done. So I'll just unmute you guys.